Okay, some of these that I have replacements for, I, uh, I'm coming in from the back with a grinder and cutting off the T-nut side. They're just too froze to get out. I mean, stripping, I've, I've only got three or four loose of the ones that got loose. Over here I got a couple. And there's two more on this side and they're holding the axe on so. Anyway, I'll show you. Before I get through the wood, because I want to preserve the location of the holes, I am just knocking them out. One's out. Next one over. Oh, there's the axle loose. It's a little warm, but you can get these down till you can take them over and put one end in the vise, and you they're still stuck on here. But you don't want to save the bracket, so put one end in the vise and rank the other end off. Anyway, it's it's a slow process, but it's coming along. And it's cold out here, so I keep putting it off. But uh, that's it for now. Hi there. This is the pile of metal parts I got off the cart. They're not too bad for rust. I cleaned them up a little, but uh, I'm gonna try treating them with. Uh, something to kill the rest before I put it back together. Anyway, it was a lot more work getting it apart than I thought it would be. Ended up having to drill some out instead of grind them off too because uh, it was too close and I didn't want to put mix on the flanges that I'm going to reuse. So. Some of these you take an oversized drill half inch to the T-nuts and uh, sitting there. No. Ended up destroying a bunch of them. Anyway, you take a oversized drill and just drill down into it until it breaks it and then the, the big part was big enough to go through the holes. 
so I can just pound them through then. I did label right on them which parts they are. And, uh, some of them are better than others. The ones that sat against the wood on the bottoms were the ones that this one is along the gate. You can see along the bottom edges they kind of sat where it was wet. And I really don't want to mess up the the galvanizing because it really did a pretty good job other than this surface rust. Maybe in another 30 years it'll need to be galvanized or something, but this will last a long time more. I'm going to put, like I said, I'm going to put boiled linseed oil on it, a few coats, after I get the rest of the rust off. I don't have a tank big enough to do any electrolysis on these. And uh, I read somewhere that the, the stainless creates some sort of hexavalent chromium or something in it. I, I doubt that it did much. I had my old uh, battery charger has a, a automatic. I guess that's the wrong kind. You want one that's a trickle charger. So I'm gonna have to look for another battery charger to really uh, put them in the electrolysis. Anyway, even if I did want to find a tank that fit these, the long ones especially. Uh, so now let me. Uh, show you the the wood I'm gonna cut out cut out the replacement wood here by using a, a pattern. I'll show that to you here. Okay over here I've laid out uh, the old pieces and uh, lined them up where I want them. They're going uh, with the grain because when you slide things in and out of the cart you don't want it to catch cross grain. So then you take a Mark it. Mark them. This one I already lined up really good with the edge, so I'm not going to have to cut the original edge. And there you go. It's marked. This one I'll have to mark after I cut the other two so that it's even with the edges. Anyway, you just really carefully, by eye line these up, you see this edge is rotten. You can't mark there off of that. And uh, I got them set them up off of uh, off of some four by fours, so I can cut into the floor here. set up to do some cutting here. That's the idea anyway. Then you get well, these pencil lines probably aren't going to show up real good on camera. But uh, essentially you can take your frame or square, line it up with the pattern mark you made and make sure that it's really straight and you see it's square to wood here yeah it looks like it was pretty straight cross on that line and then do the other two parts and same thing for the other so it's just cutting wood circular saw but with a circular saw so you get your circular saw and make sure you're clear under here and then you cut across and I'm not going to show all that, but 
but uh, after you're done with that, you lay the pattern back on the piece you cut, and I'll mark out the holes 